Hi y'all and welcome back to my channel. As you may have noticed, I did chop off that hair like I warned you in the last video. I was very happy to have been able to donate 14 inches to Wigs for Kids. Uh, today's video is not about hair, however, it is going to be looking at the paints that I bought on Amazon, the gouache paint set. Uh, so I haven't tried it out yet. It is 24 gouache colors premium. Uh, so this is supposed to be an opaic paint. Let me open this up quick before we hop right into it. Um, so just so you see, that's how each of them come. And they're in these cute little, I believe, 12 milliliter uh, paint tubes of the individual colors. I am going to be testing it similar to how I test um, in my paint comparisons. So I've made this great sheet. And so we'll be testing color as is, just because I wanna see what it actually looks like coming straight out of the tube. And then we'll be doing two of my favorite tests. So because these are saying that they're quite opaque paints, there are actually only a couple of them that are transparent. I wanna see just how opaque they are. So we're gonna do one coat over this circle here as well. It'll be um, detailed coverage. So how the ability to be able to cover up small details and then also a all black coverage just because if it's truly opaque i should be able to see you know some good colors so yeah uh let's go ahead and get started i am going to switch my camera view to down so that that way you can see me as i paint and follow along the paintbrush I will be using is this 12 by Royal and Land Nickel. I will make sure to wash and dry between each coat. And then a couple notes from the actual paints. We have the Lightfast, which is based on their box, as well as the Transparency. So I wrote each color out, as well as the information that was noted next to them from the box. So what their Lightfast level is, what their transparency level is, and as well as what the pigments within the color are. So here is the back of the box where I gathered that information for this test. At the beginning of each test, I will show you the paint tube, and then I will begin by painting the color as is, and then doing our detailed and total coverage, just so you can see how the colors are coming along. And then periodically, every few colors, I will lift up the sheet so that you have a closer image of what the paints look like while they're still wet. At the end of this video, I do also plan to review the paints once they have completely dried to the touch so you can see if or how they have changed throughout the drying process. Prior to starting this test, I did get onto their website to check out some more information on these gouache paint colors that I bought. And based on their website, this is a premium set of 24 gouache paints with each tube containing 12 milliliters of paint, as you see throughout this video. These paints are non-toxic, which I think is great, as on occasion I do have my children painting with me. So knowing that I don't have to worry about them messing with toxic paint definitely is a plus. Uh, they are also noted as being very highly pigmented paints, which I'm sure we'll see more throughout this testing process. And probably one of my favorite lines from the webpage is that they are thicker and creamier than acrylics, provides rich color, and spreads smoothly and evenly. I found this quite interesting and definitely a great punchline for advertising. Uh, I look forward to testing these out as this is my first time painting with gouache paints. I will link that webpage uh, in the description box below, just so that that way if you wanted to read up a little bit more on these paints, you certainly can.
right and now they have all dried so all dry to the touch uh, they did dry into a flat sheen so something to keep in mind if you are layering this over top of an acrylic you know a lot of acrylics end up drying in like almost a gloss or eggshell-ish <laughs> uh, sheen so it just might be a little bit more noticeable so something to keep in mind and then we'll just do a close-up on all of these and then I'll kind of dive in further all in all I was very impressed with how these performed this is my first time painting with gouache paints so I truly didn't know what to expect they're just beautiful colors all right so the reds both performed super well. The scarlet red, honestly, I would bump that up and say that it's more opaque than what they're stating. That's just my personal opinion. As you can see, beautiful color. This one is definitely a little bit more orange as to be expected with this, the name on the paint. And then both covered up the detailed as well as the black portions. So on to our next color, which is this light apricot. I do want to start off by saying I think this is a beautiful color. I guess my only issue is it's pretty darn close to a uh, light portrait pink. So that's the light portrait pink from Master's Touch and also the light portrait pink from uh, Liquitex Professionals. And granted, these are definitely a little bit more pink and this is more on your orange hue, but I feel like they could almost say that this was just a portrait color um, but light apricot I'm sure is just fine uh, I just had expected it to honestly be a little bit more orange based off of the tube uh, if you did watch my painting supplies haul I had actually pulled this one out so I had thought that it was going to be a little bit more orange and that is one thing I wish this set had was an orange yes I realize I could mix a yellow and a red together to make an orange but it would have been nice to actually have a orange within this set i digress <laughs> on to the other paints uh this performed so beautifully super impressed which i feel like made me a little bit more sad when this mid yellow didn't perform that well the mid yellow reminds me of a cadmium yellow medium hue and it says that it's supposed to be very opaque although i guess they're calling it transparency whatever uh, but it's not. If you look at it in comparison to that lemon yellow, that lemon yellow says that it only has like partial opacity, but it performed so much better than the mid yellow, in my opinion. But both very beautiful colors, just something to keep in mind. And then we have our whites. Uh, <laughs> when I was working on these circles, it actually made me think of my friend Trevor. He once made fun of me for painting white things white. So, <laughs> shout out to you, Trevor. I once again painted some more white things white. Uh, both perform very well. And the titanium white is definitely a little brighter than just the white. All right, on to our blues. They all did super well. Uh, I will say that the sky blue kind of reminds me of this Master's Touch uh, light blue violet. And this is probably one of my favorite colors. I use this to tone down a lot of colors so that they're not as saturated. And so this is actually in a lot of my paintings, whether or not you can tell it or not. And so finding out that there is a gouache color that matches one of my favorites was a pleasant surprise. I mean, can't complain, right? And then ultramarine blue, I feel like they're understating that. I feel like they should actually bump up the level of what they're saying that the opacity is because it performed as well, if not better than the Parisian blue, in my opinion. And then you have this beautiful lilac. I'm glad that they do have at least one purple in this kit. And then the peach red. This, for me, is like my biggest issue. So not so much the color. I love the color. 
absolutely stunning. However, peach red, let me grab that tube. Okay, so here's the peach red tube. Let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. So it looks like a dark, darker pink. And then when you open it up, it is fluorescent pink, you guys. I literally laughed when I squeezed it out on my palette. And just as an example here, so this is the Liquitex uh, Basics uh, fluorescent pink, and then the golden acrylic fluorescent pink. Look how close those are. I mean, obviously this one is a little bit more intense, but the only really big variation here is I feel like the peach red is more opaque than the Liquitex Professionals acrylic fluorescent pink, but otherwise they're pretty darn spot on. So <laughs> that would be my biggest thing is, please don't call this a peach red. It's not a peach red. That is a fluorescent pink. So I was a little disappointed just because I was hoping for a, um, I don't know, a darker pink that wasn't quite so intense. Obviously, it can still be used, just not what I was expecting. And then the rose in the crimson red, those both performed very well. I feel like a few of these that are saying that they have a lower opacity could actually be bumped up because they performed very well. Anyway, I digress. So, and then our final section here, you have your black and gray, burnt umber, burnt sienna. They all performed phenomenally. I am very glad to see them in this kit, just because depending upon what you're working on, those could be very helpful. And then the greens. So definitely loved the green. I feel like the pale green uh, could be listed higher on the opacity level. And then the sap green, I would say is probably pretty true. You can see sections of the uh, swirls and you can still see the black through this. Let me see if I can, I don't know if you can pick that up, but otherwise beautiful color. And then I love this deep green. It is like almost a hunter green. It's so much prettier in person. Just, just trust me. Um, and both of these, I feel like once again, they could bump up the opacity levels that they're saying here because these are for such a large circle, these are covering so well, and you can only just barely tell. Like, I feel like if you cut this out and somebody didn't know that you had a half circle of black and a half circle of design, it would be very hard to be able to see that. Like, I feel like I can only see it because I know it's there. Uh, all in all, I am truly impressed with this set, you guys. It was, I mean, a very nice set. 24 colors. I've never used gouache before. This was my very first time painting with it, so it was really nice to see what the colors look like straight out of the tube, and that kind of helps me for planning my first painting with these, and knowing that, like, you know, the mid-yellow, even though they say that it's super opaque, well, that's not. So maybe if I need to cover something up, I mix something else in there, or I make sure that that's a smaller portion. So I will make sure to link this below in case you guys want to get this same kit. I am in by no means uh, sponsored by this brand or by Amazon. I just wish that more people had posted stuff like this for uh, brands that I wanted to branch out and try because it is hard when you're wanting to try something new but not sure whether or not you want to drop that. I think this was $30. I'll double check. I'll make sure I put that in there. But $30 is a lot of money. I mean, I could have gotten multiple cups of coffee for that, <laughs> you know, just to continue with my coffee addiction. But anyway, back to this. So I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more weekly art videos, please click subscribe. Otherwise, please stay tuned for my first gouache painting. I plan to post that here in one of the coming weeks uh, once I figure out what I want to paint with this. Oh, and final thought. I was truly impressed with the minimal amount of paint that you needed 
to cover such a large section. So that was a pleasant surprise. Anyway, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching.